Hi guys, Football Cards and Stickers here today and it is Sunday the 8th of September 2013 and yes of course that means it's podcast number 20, it's time for the Shout Out Sunday video. In this video we'll be uh, receiving a mail from uh, all the way from Adrenaline and Stickers in Brazil. As you can see some rare Brazilian update stickers there, we'll be showing you those more in depth uh, shortly. We'll also be reviewing the Match magazine, uh, the issue uh, September the 3rd to September the 9th. Of course it includes the third part of the uh, Top Trumps Match World Football Stars cards. We'll be opening up those and seeing what we have there. Uh, we'll also be reviewing the Match of the Day magazine of the same issue date. It's uh, from 3rd to the 9th of September 2013, issue number 275. And within this magazine we'll also be providing you with more information about the uh, upcoming match attacks uh, Premier League 2013 stroke 14 trading cards. We'll also be showing you how to house your uh, complete collection of Panini Adrenaline XL Road to the 2014 FIFA World Cup um, in the binder, how you house that. And of course we'll also be running a competition to win this uh, very rare limited edition card. It is the uh, Real Madrid reserve team goalkeeper Ica Casillas and of course it's from the Panini Adrenaline XL Champions League 2012 stroke 13 update collection. Uh, so look out if you're a subscriber uh, on how to enter that competition for free shortly. And lastly, we'll also be providing uh, shout outs to everyone uh, within this week who's requested a shout out. So without further ado guys, uh, sit back, relax and enjoy and let's get on. Right, first up we have a mail day all the way from Brazil. It's from Adrenaline and Stickers. As you can see, uh, unfortunately it's been uh, damaged the envelope in uh, transit as you can see. They're saying while in their care it's been sort of ripped open or whatever and they're putting this bag here Royal Mail so let's hope we have most of the stuff from the trade still in here so without further ado let's get this open as you can see it's sort of split open where the cardboard was looks like it's gonna all be in there though because the yes uh, John Diaz has put some sellotape there so that's cool nicely wrapped just needed a bit stronger envelope I guess and here we go let's see if we can uh, slide these out that's the lot and we have one two uh, three Revista poster specials, uh, which includes the uh, nine player updates for the Confederations Cup for Brazil. Here, that's uh, Joe, uh, Jadson, Revere, Bernard, Luis Gustavo, Diego Cavallari, Jean, Fernando, and Jefferson. And they came in this. As you can see, there's only nine updates there. That's really cool. I'll be opening one of those in a video uh, shortly. And we have a fantastic condition Confederations Cup sticker album, still sealed and everything. That's brilliant. So it looks like the whole trade is here. That's great stuff, uh, mainly because of the good packing inside there, the cardboard there. And here's the bonus from John Diaz. A, uh, Placac, Mag and Packet. So, let's have a look at this uh, Placac, Mag, whatever. That's... Looks like some sort of pools thing there. And then we have uh, Fred on the front there. There's uh, Pato, uh, back in his homeland, Brazil. Great to see him get a move away from uh, the little team in Italy. Please. 
isn't it? And some of the uh, Stadia, as you can see there, ready for the World Cup. Some old players there, Eusebio and someone else. I can see why Jean Dias, Jean Dias uh, buys this uh, magazine. And some more players. There's Fred again. Looks like he's advertising Adidas. And him in uh, action for Brazilian national team. Looks like a summer is hot birds there. There's uh, that's Dunga, I think. It's a nice little uh, memento based around the uh, Brazilian national team. That's really cool. Socrates, one of the most famous Brazilian players ever. There's Veron, the Argentinian. Edison Cavani. Neymar, of course, the new star of Barcelona. Some of the uh, mascots of the uh, Brazilian clubs. Roman of Vanbridge. So that's really cool. Uh, let's have a look what we get in the envelope. Thanks for the epic trade. Hope we can trade again soon from Jean Diaz. That's uh, adrenaline stickers if you're wondering, uh, guys. Obviously, uh, most of you will be subscribed to him, but if you haven't already, make sure you get yourself over there and subscribe. And he sent us a uh, Panini Brazilian League 2013 sticker pack. So, for a bit of fun, let's, let's have a look who we get. Quite nice stickers. There's a code on the back there, which you can claim at this address if anyone's using that. And we have Ferron. Uh, one of the uh, emblems, I guess. Digao, Fabricio, and Souza. So that's superb. So it's a great trade, buddy. Looking forward to doing the next trade. We're very shortly uh, agreed our next trade already. Uh, that's brilliant. Really great stuff. These are really nice. So that's superb. And great condition album. That's brilliantly done. Uh, let's move on to the next part. Right, next up we'll be reviewing the uh, Match magazine issued as you guys know in the UK. It's retail priced at £1.99 and this is uh, the issue September the 3rd to September the 9th 2013. As you can see you get five more free Top Trumps cards from the uh, Match World Football Stars collection there. There they are attached on the front cover. So without further ado, let's remove those. And as you can see, the first card they give away this week is Robin Van Persie, the guy who still couldn't score against a decent side. Uh, obviously hit a blank against uh, Liverpool, as he did with Real Madrid. And next up we have the UEFA Player of the Year, Frank Ribéry. Next up we have a fantastic centre-back in the name of Nemanja Vidic. And next up Chelsea's uh, new signing. Hasn't made much of an impact so far, Andre Schürrle. 
And next up we have Real Madrid's uh, centre-back, come right back, Sergio Ramos. So some very nice cards there. There's a total of 70 cards in this set. You have to collect throughout 11 weeks. Uh, I'll just put those over there. So let's have a look at the actual magazine. As you can see, we got uh, a review on uh, storage, uh, the Liverpool Gold Machine. It's got three and three games. They've won all their games 1-0, as most of the Premier League games have been, actually. Here's a feature on Eric Lamella, uh, moved from Roma. Didn't know he used to be a girl when he was younger, but obviously did. And there's Neymar's first trophy, the uh, Spanish Super Cup. He beat Atletico Madrid on away goals. Uh, there's the criticism about the England goalkeeper, Joe Hart. Could lose his place very shortly. Uh, there's the flower seller from uh, the Metro in Italy, Samueletto. He's got his move to Chelsea rather than selling for roses. Uh, next up, a bit of a strange one. We've got Arsenal's Euro Nightmare. I don't really understand that. They've won easily. I think basically they're saying they're in a tough draw. Got obviously Borussia Dortmund and Marseille and the dangerous Napoli in the Champions League. Uh, feature on Walcott. Some snaps are there. Uh, England's new star, Ross Barkley. Fantastic midfielder. Rodwell targeting a trophy, Man Manchester City. That could be a lot harder this season. Here's some little feature about some of the new signings in the Premier League, as you can see. Uh, Kagawa, superb midfielder from Manchester United. There's a feature on uh, Tottenham. Some of the previous results from the previous weeks. Got a little feature on England's games, obviously. A dangerous game away to Ukraine, as you guys know. There's a Hull City club guide with, of course, their talisman, Tom Huddleston. Uh, some features on FIFA 13. Uh, there's how to play the top trumps there. There's Michael Laudrup in action for Barcelona. And of course next week they continue their giveaway with some top trumps. Look like uh, Philip Lahm and Lucas Podolski, Ika Munain, uh, Wesley Schneider and Radamel Falcao in next week's. It's a feature on Diego Costa. So a nice little magazine this week. Nice little giveaway, the set of uh, cards there. Uh, let's move on to the next magazine review now. Right, next up we have a review of the Match of the Day magazine. It's issue number 275, dated 3rd to the 9th of September 2013. As you can see, a bit of a strange free gift to be given away. Shoelaces. Uh, very weird. Uh, I wouldn't even bother taking them off. They're so pants. Uh, here's some of the uh, features on the new signings. There's Willian, the Shakhtar Donetsk uh, former player. There's uh, Joe Hart dressed up as a homosexual. Les Scott. There's some transfer targets. Again, they're uh, targeting Bakali of uh, PSG, uh, PSV, sorry. There's some funnies there. Uh, champions revealed. They uh, seem to think Manchester United will uh, retain the Premier League. Uh, I think this is more likely Chelsea would win the Premier League, but who knows? Definitely not match of the day, that's for certain. Some 
features here. And they're suggesting uh, Redmond will be a World Cup winner. A World Cup winger, sorry. It's a bit worrying that they've predicted a good future for him and normally you know what match of the day is like. They don't normally low a lot. There's uh, Everton's new loan signing, Romelo Lukaku. Great, fantastic loan signing from Everton. Done some really good business in the transfer window. Here's some speed demons here. Of course, the two Madrid players, Bale and Ronaldo. There's uh, Celtic celebrating a goal. There's England's new hero, Ricky Lambert. There's Osvaldo uh, playing against Norwich there. As you can see, footy cards and stickers attended that game. Very good game, two good sides. Uh, Southampton will definitely do well in the league this year, I feel. Here's a feature on Ukraine, England. And of course, here's a competition round by match of the day to win a match attack starter set. Uh, the question is, tell us which Premier League Premier League club was knocked out of the League Cup last week. A. Palace, B. Sunderland, C. Fulham. Is, of course, A. Crystal Palace. Uh, you can enter that. So you can email your uh, answer to 6575 at motdcomps.co.uk if you wish to enter that competition. There's a, they've got a feature on Ross Barkley, obviously, as well. And here we are. This is what most of you guys want to see. In next week's match of the day, yes, Match Attacks 2013-14 stroke is back. They're giving away a free packet of uh, cards here. Uh, footy cards and stickers will be getting plenty of these magazines uh, so we can get the packets off. And I'll be opening a lot up there just to see if they're ripping us off like last year. Do you remember last year, guys, when uh, they just included base cards in the packets? Well, uh, Footy Cards and Stickers will be opening at least 20 packets of these um, to see if the ratios work or if Match of the Day are going to continue with their rip-off this season. Hopefully they don't. It would be great news if you could get insert cards. But there's some of the features of the cards. It looks like in the top right they're going to have values of players. They've actually valued Nasri at 8 million, which is a bit embarrassing because he cost 20 million with only a year left on his contract when he joined from Arsenal. Oh, Oscar has reduced in value as well. Another 20 million pound signing for Chelsea. He's now valued at 8.5 million. So uh, brilliant stuff from the. Uh, Match attacks guys there, obviously know their stuff, poor sods. But it's a collection to collect which is uh, we're looking forward to. Obviously you guys know the uh, release date of match attacks is going to be September the 26th, uh, which is the best day of the year as you guys know. There's a feature on Barcelona there. And uh, just a quick little extra bit of information for you guys. The... Um, the Champions League Adrenaline 2013 stroke 14 season cards will be released in the UK on Tuesday the 3rd of October to Thursday the 5th of October, depending on which region you live on in the UK. Uh, right, let's move on to the next section. Right guys, uh, over the last three weeks I've uh, had a lot of uh, email requests uh, asking me to show you how to put the cards in for the Panini Adrenaline XL Road to the World Cup 2014 trading card collection. Um, obviously I'm happy to do so. I'll, I'll show you how I've placed them in the uh, folder because obviously there is 235 cards in the main set and only 234 spaces so you have to um, change the way you insert the cards into the folder. So basically what you do is you put them in teams. Uh, so for example, as you can see, Argentina has 12 players in its team. So I put nine on that side, obviously, and finish the team on that side. And you always start a new team on the right-hand side page here. So then we have Brazil, who had 15 players, as you can see there. 
And then we move on to uh, Colombia, who had nine exactly. And then Denmark, who also had nine exactly. And Germany, who have uh, 15 players there, as you can see. Then we have England, who have 12 players in this collection. Uh, this is the UK version, as you can see. Uh, then we have Spain, who has 15 players in the collection. And France, who has 12 players in the collection. And Croatia, who has 9 players in the collection. The Republic of Ireland, who has 9 players in the collection. Then we have Italia, who has 12 players in the collection. And the Netherlands, uh, 9 players in the collection. Norway, 9 players in the collection. And then Portugal, 9 players in the collection. And then Russia, who has 9 players. And Sweden, who has 9 players. And then Switzerland, who sadly only has eight players there, as you can see, so we haven't put one there. And Uruguay, who also has eight players, and as you can see, we've started on the right-hand side again. So um, that completed the base cards. And next up on the checklist was the fans' favourites. And what you do there is, like you say again, start on the right-hand side. And there's a total of 15 fans' favourites. So you just put in, um, not on the back side of them, but you'll use two sheets here. You'll put nine there, and then nine, and then the final six there to the right. And then starting again on the right-hand side of the uh, page, we have the goal stoppers, 15 goal stoppers. So you've got nine on that page, much similar to the fans' favourite, and the final six on that page. And then we have the masters here. Uh, so there was 10 masters in total, so you've got the 9 on the first page, and then just that final one, Edison Cavani of PSG, on that page. And then you start a new page, and you will place your top masters in there, the 5 top masters. And that and that's just leaves you with one page there for anything else you wish to put in, such as a uh, different pack or whatever. Obviously I like to keep my limited edition cards. Uh, in these plastic top loaders, uh, for example here, uh, to keep them safe as they're limited editions and not listed on this checklist, as you can see. Uh, so that's how Football Cards and Stickers puts the uh, cards in the folder. If you've got any other ideas how you uh, house them in the uh, official binder, then let me know underneath. And of course I hope you helped you guys, for all you guys, there was five or six requests on how to do this, so I hope it's helped you guys out. Right, let's uh, move on to the competition now, guys. Right, next up, we're giving you the opportunity to win this very rare Ica Casillas of Real Madrid limited edition card from the Panini Adrenaline XL Champions League 2012 Stroke 13 update collection, which was never obviously released in the UK. Um, in order to be entered into this uh, competition, it is a prediction uh, competition. Obviously, the uh, next week's uh, games of the English Premier League, the big one next week, is, of course, Everton versus Chelsea, uh, kicking off live on Sky Sports for you UK viewers. Um, what I would like you to do to enter the competition is predict the score of that match. So, for example, if you think... It will be a 1-1 draw, Everton and Chelsea, then put Everton 1, Chelsea 1. I'd also, like as a tiebreaker, if there's more than one person uh, who guesses the correct score, um, then it will go to who the first goal scorer was. So I'd like you to guess who the first goal scorer will be. So if you think the first goal scorer will be Fernando Torres of Chelsea, then put Everton 1, Chelsea 1, Fernando Torres, first goal scorer, for example, something like that. Um, that's uh, that's only if uh, on, if if more than one person gets the correct score right. Uh, all entries must be in. Just put your entries in the comments below. Uh, make sure you're a subscriber of Football Cards and Stickers YouTube channel. All entries must be made before Saturday, the 14th of September. For obvious reasons, it's when the game kicks off, and uh, the winner. Um, will be drawn if there's more than one winner who guesses the correct score and first goal scorer for example or um, if there's multiple winners then it will be drawn on Sunday the 15th of September podcast number 21 
of the shout out Sunday. If there's just one person who has got it right, uh, totally right, then uh, obviously I will announce that on that podcast number 21. Uh, So best of luck guys, it's a great opportunity to get this fantastic card. And all the best guys, remember predict your score and first goal scorer for Everton v Chelsea Premier League. Right, now on to the, uh, finally, the shout-outs. Uh, first shout-out goes to Edinson101, a uh, big uh, Chelsea fan, now doing videos of his own. As you can, If you check out his channel, you can see a mail day from myself, uh, which is his most recent video, so go check that out. Next shout-out goes to Wiktar Glinski, followed by a shout-out to Tabby Suppy. Uh, next shout goes to um, an Austral- Australian uh, YouTuber, Match Attacks AFL, big Liverpool fan, uh, followed by a shout to our good friend uh, Football Cards Bulgaria, followed by another uh, Australian YouTuber here, a big shout to Statman Seward, uh, he collects AFL cards and does FIFA vids on his channel, so go check those out. Next shout goes to Mr Dave the Rave 99 uh, followed by a shout to Football Cards 365. Uh, next shout uh, to our friend from Vietnam, Hung. Uh, big shout to Vipman3120, a uh, big Chelsea fan. Uh, next shout goes to uh, a Manchester United fan, Swishmeister Railton. Next shout out to Footy Cards. Uh, followed by another uh, Australian YouTuber now, a big shout to Collingwood Rocks AFL. He collects all cards, including the match attack cards. Next shout goes to Joshua Mann, followed by a shout to Abba Baku Khalil. And next shout to Justin Berwick, followed by a shout to Halim. And next shout to a Manchester United fan again, uh, Hasina Lebe. Uh, and next shout goes to a Brazilian YouTuber, it's uh, Leduardo123. A uh, big fan of um, Atletico Mineiro, who will be contesting the uh, World Club Cup final against uh, FC Bayern München, as they were the Coburn Libertadores winners. I believe Rob Ronaldinho plays for them now. A uh, big shout goes to Carney78694, Liverpool fan. Followed by a shout out to a Saints fan. It's Football Cards England Penals. So big shout to you, buddy. Uh, next shout to Card Collector Free, a Sunderland fan, followed by a shout to Four Four Two Zero Gaming. He's a big Manchester United fan, and finally a shout out to go to Michelle Murray, Iqbal Hakim, and the final shout out to Colchester Collector, a new YouTuber. So best of luck with the YouTube channel, buddy. Um, that's about it for the uh, shout outs. Can I just remind everyone? Um, any anyone who hasn't watched the results videos of the summer spectacular competitions there are still five of the 14 prizes yet to be claimed by the winners so uh, remember you have until 30th of september to complain uh, to uh, to uh, claim the winnings so uh, make sure you uh, watch those results videos and uh, if you have won the uh, competition make sure you message me with your address details before 30th of september Otherwise, I shall donate those prizes and uh, for new competitions after that date. I uh, just want to say thanks ever so much for watching, guys, and uh, thanks for your support. And uh, till next video, arrivederci.